Hello, I'm Danny Dehick. Someone's just gave me a link to another Ponzi scheme scam. I don't actually really know what it is, but I thought rather than like doing all this research and then telling you my facts, I thought I'd jump on a live broadcast and actually show you how people like me come to the conclusions that something is either a scam or misleading people and taking their money off them. So first thing, what I'd like to do is I'm going to, I've gone to a website that is called behindmlms.com and it's a great place to start if you're trying to figure out whether something is a scam or not because if it is, normally they have an article within there that's talking about something that you're thinking about investing in. Now I haven't never seen an article in there where they haven't got the when where they have got it wrong. So it's a good place to start if you're wondering. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to listen to an article that they have produced. So if I go into here, you can see I'm actually on behindmlm.com and I found an article on this gold company. And just first looks, here's the global Intergold company, which theoretically got done as a Ponzi scheme way back in 2014, and now they've just recently relaunched. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the website, I'm going to take you through the Facebook page, I'm going to go looking at their Twitter accounts, um, I can already see in their Facebook page they have 125,000 people following. You can purchase likes uh, from the countries, you can pay maybe a thousand dollars and you would get 125,000 people following. But as we go through, we'll look at the adverts they are doing and we'll also look to see how much engagement they have. Now, go to any other Facebook page that has 125,000 followers, uh, you will see a lot more engagement than these companies do. And a lot of these are telltale signs when people like myself are trying to figure out whether something is a scam or not. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my, I'm dyslexic and I really struggle to read the words. So, I use technology, I use, I use um, text to voice. And also, if you ever get on a text conversation with me, you will find uh, that I actually um, I use voice to text. So I talk, and the words come up on the screen, I press send, that's why most people can't keep up with me, and they go, oh, you're really quick on the internet. I embrace technology. I love technology. I love where the world's going with crypto and the freedom it gives us. But what I don't like is people being ripped off by people who are capitalizing on people who aren't educated. Now I'm just an average guy, not trying to be a hero, but I just want to show you what I actually do when I see something that looks like a scam and maybe you'll learn something from it anyway. So let's go back into workshop mode. I will get my reader to read it and away we go. IGOS review, third M Gold's Ponzi reboot, APR.15, 2020 in M Gold's MLM Reviews, GIGOS is the latest chapter in the MGOLX scam saga. MGOLX was a gold-themed cycle or Ponzi scheme that launched in 2014. Following multiple regulatory investigations and fraud warnings, the US, Philippines, Malaysia, UAE, MGOLX collapsed in mid-2015. The company rebooted as Global Intergold shortly after the collapse carrying on as if nothing happened. In November 2015, Philippine authorities filed criminal charges against local ringleaders. Since then, global intergold fraud warnings have been issued by Curacao in Peru. In February 2019, authorities in Sweden arrested Joseph Tran, a serial Ponzi scammer who dated back to the M. Golk days. Two months ago, Global Intergold collapsed and was rebooted as GIGOS. GIGOS, Global I Gold Online, has been set up as a bogus shell company in England. Who owns and operates any of the M. Golk companies has never been publicly disclosed. In our Global Intergold review, Marketing footage suggested Eastern Europeans were behind the scheme. This is supported by the majority of MGOLT's global intergold GIGOS marketing videos being natively recorded in Russian. As always, if an MLM company is not openly upfront about who is running or owns it, 
Think long and hard about joining and or handing over any money. GIGOS's products. GIGOS has no retailable products or services, with affiliates only able to market GIGOS affiliate membership itself. GIGOS's compensation plan. GIGOS affiliates purchase matrix cycle or positions. Smart. 235 euro EUR. Pro. 385 euro EUR. Accord. 485 euro EUR. Line. 885 euro EUR. Cycle or positions are valid for 12 months and incur additional undisclosed tax fees. After 12 months a GIGOS affiliate must purchase another cycle or position in order to continue earning. As with Global Intergold, the size of matrix used in GIGOS is not disclosed. For reference MGOLTs use two multiplication three matrices. So a similarly sized matrix is likely deployed in GIGOS. In any event, cycle returns are paid when a GIGOS affiliate's matrix is filled via direct and indirect recruitment. Returns paid out across GIGOS's four cycle returns are as follows. Smart. Two positions paying 300 euro EUR each. 600 euro EUR total return. Pro. Three positions paying 750 euro EUR each, 2,250 euro EUR total return. Accord. Two positions paying 650 euro EUR each, 1,300 euro EUR total return. Line. Two positions paying 1,200 euro EUR each, 2,400 euro EUR total return. The reduced returns paid across Accord and Line suggest smaller matrix sizes might be used to speed up cycling. Leadership bonus. The leadership bonus appears to be an additional 15 tier 4 multiplication 1 matrix cycler. To qualify for the leadership bonus, a GIGOS affiliate must have recruited three affiliates who have each invested and generated 35,000 euro EUR in downline investment volume. Once qualified, commissions are paid out using what appears to be four multiplication one matrices. As I understand it leadership bonus, qualified GIGOS affiliates pay the fees for each cycle or tier on the right. As other leadership bonus qualified affiliates are placed into their matrices, they earn the amounts in the right two columns. The minimum bonus for transaction column are minimum amounts required before a GIGOS affiliate can unlock the next leadership bonus cycle or tier. For reference, 50 units equals 35,000 euro EUR in downline investment volume. Fractal units appears to be some legacy scam module from Global Intergold. It is not explained in GIGOS's compensation plan or on their website, neither is the leadership bonus for that matter. Joining GIGOS, GIGOS affiliate membership is tied to a four-tier cycle or position purchase, smart, 235 euro EUR, pro, 385 euro EUR, accord, 485 euro EUR, line, 885 euro EUR positions are valid for 12 months after which they must be renewed. GIGOS state they charge tax on cycle or position purchases, but don't provide exact amounts. Conclusion. GIGOS is what you'd expect from M Gold X's third reboot, other than the names attached to investment tiers changing, and of course the company name itself. GIGOS is pretty much more of the same. You invest Recruit others who do the same and receive a percentage of their invested funds. Wash, rinse, repeat. Gold is used as a marketing ploy to solicit investment. This dates back to MGOLX, where the ruse was people were able to buy gold with their cycle of returns, other than perhaps once for social media marketing purposes. Nobody opts for gold in lieu of cycler returns paid in money. So why bother rebooting MGOLX for a third time? As far as I can tell the Europeans behind the scheme are wanting to have a crack at Africa. As I write this Alexo cites Nigeria, 27% as the only notable source of traffic to GIGOS's website domain. Historically MGOLX and Global Intergold scammed investors in Southeast Asia. That market has perhaps finally run dry, and so now they've set their sights on a new region to scam, be it Africa or Southeast Asia. However, a Ponzi cycler is a Ponzi cycler. When GIGOS affiliate recruitment collapses again, kaboom.
Yeah, so there you go. I uh, hope that wasn't too boring. I just thought I'd try something different when um, letting you listen to it. Now, I don't know if you noticed a few things there. If you go to their Facebook page, they have 126,000 people who've liked it. But when they post stuff just nine hours ago, there's no engagement. There's one or two. There's a silly picture. Um, it's from, I don't even know what country that is. Um, no idea at all, to be honest. I'm sure it should do Middle East somewhere, probably. Or Indian, I don't know. But anyway, and also, if you look at the contact details, you can see they're actually still using the email address of the company that was labelled as a scam. And they've even got a new website address, which is really strange because setting up a new email address is pretty easy. You think they'd have it uniform. They do have a phone number. So that's interesting. Um, I'm not going to, but you're more than welcome to call it. Um, they're also, you know, the main point really is if you ever go to a Facebook page and you see the, the page transparency, then click on see more and it'll actually tell you the admins where they live. So we've got Russia, one from the United Kingdom and is it Latvia? I'm not saying that right, hopefully I am. And also if you go to the ad library on any Facebook page, you can actually look at the ads that they are producing and you can see how much they have spent on an ad. And um, you can see how much of the impression they've got. It's a great technique as well if you're looking at uh, your competitors and you want to figure out how much they spend. So if you're paying $100 and they're paying $1,500, for example, then you can see whether you can compete head-to-head -head with them. And that's why Facebook gives us this data, isn't it? Yeah, so that's really interesting. Um, also looking at the, um, if you notice, as I was talking, I was going through looking at the... Um, YouTube page, I can see if I go to the About section that this was created back in 2015. So they've just picked up and carried on. These Ponzi schemes or these scams, and I'm not even knowing what this scam really is all about, but what I'm saying, most of them are very hard to stop. And that is the problem we have, our friends. The same as when you go to their Instagram account, uh, you can see that they have got all these followers. Um, once upon a time, I did find a site that was selling Facebook likes. Uh, you can buy face. Uh, you can buy fifty thousand Facebook likes for I think around about a thousand dollars. You can also um, one of my other videos that I did, which I will go to, uh, was all about um, buying because um, every YouTube person like me, the first goal you do when you get your YouTube channel to monetize it is you want a thousand um, likes. So I did an experiment with one of mine um, videos here and I actually paid for one of the videos um, to, because uh, I got an email from a dubious company and they basically said for $8.80 I could pay to get a thousand subscribers, uh, sorry, a thousand views of a video, which is quite interesting. And it also guaranteed 10... Um, comments and all the comments were silly things like uh, best channel ever and all that sort of stuff and so I show people how you actually go about buying um, traffic uh, not traffic but likes and subscribers for your YouTube channel and there's also other schemes out there where you can buy Facebook likes and the same for Instagram so if you're looking at those and you're thinking they're real the real big test is with YouTube there's a site I think it's called Blade Blade something, but if you want to message me, go to deheck.com and I'll tell you, but there's a site in there that will tell you how the traffic went on a site like a YouTube account and you'll see a spike in traffic all of a sudden and that's normally when you can figure out that they've paid for those subscribers or those views as they say. And once again, let's go to the latest um, video here. Sorry, the latest 18 hours ago they posted this banner. Uh, it's had three comments. Um, now, if you had 25,000 people and you built up that audience with 28,000 followers, you, I can tell you now that you would have more than three comments on each post that you do. So they're faking it until they make it, as they say. Um, but I just wanted to sort of give it a go. So it, overall, am I saying Global Into Gold, who is now called um, G-I-G-O-S, is this a legit company? I definitely don't think they're a legit company. I, they wouldn't get my investment. 
um, there's a real good thing to remember when you um, when you look at these companies. If it sounds too good to be true, it often is too good to be true. And really think about that. Um, there's lots of ways to make money. Um, one of the books that I read once was called 100 Side Hustles. I think I've actually personally done about 50 of them. Um, I believe that what you need to do if you're trying to be self-employed and you want your independence, like a lot of these get-rich-quick schemes say, you know, your financial independence and your um, passive income, look for a product or a service you can offer to somebody and then just sell it once. And then once you understand the formula and the process of coming up with a product or service and selling it to a person, you know, whether you put 15% markup on something or you put 300% markup on it, and you go through that transaction of selling that product to somebody, that is what you call a business. <laughs> and you can start up as a sole trader. Uh, that's what I did for a long time. And then I registered myself as a company. So um, if you want any help with side hustles or making money online, I promise you I'm not into um, deceiving people. Um, I do have workshops teaching people how to set up simple things like email addresses, how to set up a website and stuff like that really which every business needs. You may not need a website, for example. You may get by with a good Facebook page and building up an audience. So you can start small and think big, but if these schemes are enticing you and you're thinking, look, I just want to invest $1,000 and get $5,000 back in a short period of time, then stop and think, it's too good to be, sound too good to be true. It, uh, it is too good to be true. So hopefully that helps and Hopefully I can also show you some other things. Another thing I will show you just before I get carried away is if I wanted to look at this company here and look at the history of this company, there's a website called archive.org. And this is the main thing I often do. And it's a time machine of all the websites that are on the internet. So just take out all the stuff in front and just put in the domain. Press enter. And you can do this with any website. And now it will go back and it will tell you when that website started. And you can sort of see how busy it got. So I can just about guarantee um, there was some big activity happened in 2020. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to go back to 2015. I'm going to find the first snapshot of this particular website, which I think is that one there. Is it going to work? Maybe that's not the best choice. Or is it going to go there? So this will bring up the old website, the very first time that the archive.org visited it. And it doesn't look like it's going to work, unfortunately. Uh, let's find one that does work, because it's always exciting. Let's go 2016, that might be better. Okay, here it comes, it popped up now. So I'm going back to, uh, that didn't work. Uh, let's find one that does work. Um, and this site will scroll, uh, scroll around the internet looking for um, websites and taking a snapshot of them and then um, I'm not much luck here oh well I'll tell you what I'll do I'll use one that does work so my old company used to be called New Zealand NZ .co.nz and if you go there you can see 2004 I actually turned over $475,000 worth of sales and income, and I took home that year $275,000 in my back pocket. You can look at the history of my own business and that website. So 2004, 2005 were my boom years, and I was getting a ton of traffic. At the time, um, I was getting um, something like um, uh, 25,000 IP visits each day. And I was, uh, my websites were not very well designed, um, but they were really text driven. And this is my old website um, called New Zealand's Information Network. It actually consisted of 1500 pages. And you can actually see here it says that you are a visitor, <laughs> 21,554. Um, and that was because I had a whole lot of information about New Zealand in general. So every time I got a client, I would, um, let's just go into freshwater fisheries, I would um, basically write content that suited that client and then wrap it around that client's website. So for example, we just were on New Zealand Information Network. We clicked on an information 
a series of articles about freshwater fisheries and because I had a hunting guide that wanted that traffic then I'd wrap his advertising all the way around it. So I never really sold websites to people but I did advertising for them and collectively New Zealand Information Network actually had um, around about 45 rental car companies that used to use me to market them and also a whole lot of tourism operators so it was really exciting and then back in 2000 just recently I did away with that, that website because it had done its dash I put all my eggs back into the my personal brand and when you click on um, blog now and hold your mouse over about New Zealand let's have a look at those same articles and we're looking at freshwater fisheries for example I now have all these articles back on my own brand and I can, um, these are like what I call fish hooks. People are searching for information about freshwater fisheries in Wellington. My articles come up, um, people land on them. So let's just go into a general one. And, um, and now what I do is I wrap advertising around these articles that people are landing on. So because I used to get 25,000 people to my New Zealand's Information Network website every day, this here is now coming back to me. So what I'm, I'm doing at the moment, because I have a business networking company, and that business networking company was a face-to-face -face business networking company where I'd get small to medium-sized businesses together, and we sort of all network and help each other in business and give a lot of business support. I had about 150 members, they all paid me $59 a month and when COVID happened basically we tried to run it on Zoom and basically it fell over. So since then I have been trying to reinvent myself and what I've decided to do is produce online workshops teaching people how to uh, survive and thrive in business because that's something that we really need to do these days, uh, wouldn't you agree? So I'm all about personal branding, that's why I use my name, um, I have tohick.com, I teach people how to set up their own personal brand, um, I provide one-on-one -on -one coaching, so that is what I do for a living. If you want some coaching on building your personal brand, you can book time with me, I don't care if you do, but I'm available. Uh, I have a membership area which is free, so people can go in there and ask questions about their business and what they're trying to do and I'll answer them, I don't get paid for that. And then I have a whole lot of workshops which I've put together. I haven't quite finished them, but people want to get um, a better understanding of LinkedIn. So I provide information on that. People want to build a website. Now, to get a website built with me, I only charge about $1,200, but you've got to provide me with information. But I don't want to do that anymore. I'm sick of building websites for other people. So I've done an online course, which I think is $475 New Zealand dollars, and it's step-by-step. -step. It shows you how to build a WordPress website from A to Z. So then... When you need to update it, you can update your own website. You don't need to go back to the website developer. Uh, I've got my big personal branding course, and I'll be honest, no one's bought it yet. But it's there, it's available. If people want me to help them, coach them through their personal brand, that's what I'm all about. So I've got quite a few courses ready to rock and roll, and I'm sort of really proud of where I'm taking my business. Um, so that's a little bit more about me and how I sort of go through the internet looking for things that, um, so people like me, what we're doing, we are looking for traffic. Um, we're looking for schools of fish that are feeding on certain things. Now I've had a YouTube channel for quite a few years. Um, if you went to my um, Flickr account, you will see that I'm actually a street photographer. I'm not a professional photographer, but I've been, my last trip was to Bangladesh, um, India and China and I took some photos of my travels as I went and I thoroughly enjoyed uh, actually um, doing that and I love photography that's my passion um, so then I'm trying to think how can I make money out of my passion uh, so now I, I help people build their personal brand um, online and I teach them how to get the best out of um, you know social media um, my branding is throughout everything I do I don't know why I started telling you that, but you'll get the idea. Uh, I've got a TikTok account, which I'm, I'm not, I'm too old for TikTok, but I have had a couple of my TikToks actually get, uh, one of them got 850,000 views, uh, which is pretty awesome. And um, I've had some success with TikTok, but I'm learning as I go and everything that I do and I learn, I basically try to 
share that with other people because we all need to survive and thrive in business. We need to learn how to overcome those obstacles. And if I can be any help, that's great. Um, and um, that's basically me. So I hope you enjoyed watching my wee video, which I didn't plan to do, but I just wanted to show you the process of going through and looking at these um, scams and my first glance, whether it looks like it's legit or not. And uh, what is it? The <laughs> G-I-G-O-S to me, my opinion, could be wrong, probably going to get told I'm wrong, is a scam and they're trying to mislead people Stay away from Ponzi scams, Ponzi schemes and Ponzi scams. No, stay away from Ponzi schemes and scams. And if you're unsure, feel free to reach out to me and ask. Have a great day. See ya.